Right, there's Barrington Coombe everyone. I've come a long way. I climbed all up along the top of Cheddar Gorge. Um, wandered all the way up there. Then I went to Black Rock. And then all the way across fields. Until I got to um, the trig point. You know, across the road, got to the trig point. I suffered my asthma, it was really, really bad. I had to use the inhaler up to three times today. It's unusual. Um, anyway, I thought to myself, I've got a choice now, it's nearly three o'clock. I'd have to go back now to get back to Cheddar to get the bus in time. It's still a hike in front of me if I decide to do Robarrow. Whatever I do, ain't going to be straightforward, but it's all hilly. So I thought what I probably will do now, I don't really want to go back through Robero. So it means I've got to walk on a horrible road to get find the bus stop at, at um, Sanford. I'd pre much prefer to go back the Cheddar Way, but I am absolutely exhausted. I've done too much in a week, you see, and uh, I haven't really got any energy. The thought of having to climb all these hills here, I mean, I've got them ahead of me as well, but I think I've got more time if I go back this way um, to go past the Robero Hill Fort way. You see, the conditions are bad. It's really slowing me up as well. It's really bad, the conditions. <laughs> I'll see if it's any better up here. Except I am darting about taking photographs of uh, Barrington Coombe. So I've got to stay this side. <sighs> but I really am breathless. Quite badly. So, um... <sighs> I haven't really... I don't remember feeling this bad before. So basically, because I've just walked miles, absolute miles, but it's worth it to come to see this view, you see. This is Barrington Coombe. Now, last year, I don't know what time it was, it was August, September time. I can't remember. I uh, climbed the other side and stood on various peaks all the way along there and I wanted to come over this side but I never had time that day it's beautiful though isn't it it's winter it's going to be really bad conditions later it's going to be freezing weather apparently freezing there's no snow up here though though Yeah, I can remember standing on top of various ones of those looking down. Barrington Coombe. Got some beautiful pictures. And I'm on this side. But I was way up over that hill. That's the way back to Cheddar. But what I forgot was the, top, the last bus. Now I kept thinking there's going to be one at 7 o'clock. But I don't think there is. I think the last bus is something like 10 to 6. Now I'd really have to get my speed shoes on to get back to Cheddar, to the town centre, in three hours. I've got a little bit more time this way. This is flatter. It's more straightforward. And I think the, there's a bus round about, oh, I don't know, quarter past six. I think I've got more chance of taking a casual stroll now. 
as opposed to having to hike across all those hills there. I, I, I'd normally be able to do it, but I am very, very tired. I did a big hike last week, you see. In fact, I've done a couple of hikes and it's taken it out of me. And I'm very breathless. And I, I just don't think I can do it. I want to do it. I, I, I want to go back that way. But because there's, I'm not sure of the buses. But the way I'm going, most of it's all right. But then I have to go, I have to walk through Churchill with muddy boots on as well. See? And I've got to get, I'd have to walk through this very long village. I have to walk through this very long village. Um, it's a hell of a long hike. And I hate walking on the roads. I hate it. You know, you've got cars whizzing past. Whereas I'd shed away, I was hoping to walk down the gorge because the cars have been banned at the moment. Here we go then. Barrington Coombe from this side. So if I knew I could get up there under normal conditions, I'd say I could get up there under normal conditions of energy and um, not breathless. I don't feel like it today. I'd rather stroll this side, which is still new to me, and go back the road barrow way past the fort. I got really, I've got to make my mind up one way or another in two hours time it be getting dark, see? So, <clears throat> I don't want to be stuck up here in the dark. It's, we're going to get colder anyhow. But it is lovely. I just, what it was, I should have left an hour earlier. I thought I'd have time, but I forgot how far it is. It's up and down. I've got to go up and down, even now, see? And I've not never been here before, so I don't know where I'm going really. This is a mystery. I don't know where I'm going. I could be going off track. I might have to walk through a deep stream. Anything. I was going to turn back back there, and then I thought to myself, "No, not you've come this far." You've come this far. Don't turn back now. Because the last time I tried cutting cross country, I ended up in a bog.